Breaking the wall of solar water splitting. Avigail Landman, Technion, Israel Institute of Technology. Solar energy. It is renewable, sustainable, and an abundant power source. But most importantly, it's clean. No carbon emissions and no pollution. It would be great if we could rely on solar energy for all of our energetical needs. But what's stopping us? But simply, the sun doesn't always shine. What do we do at nighttime, or what do we do on cloudy days? A promising solution to this problem is to store the sun's energy by using it to split water into oxygen and hydrogen. Hydrogen is a fuel, and just like solar energy, it is renewable, sustainable, and clean. In water splitting, we need two electrodes. These can be just two pieces of metal placed in water and connected to a power source. Once the voltage between the electrodes is high enough, the water molecules split into oxygen at one electrode and hydrogen at the other. In solar water splitting, one of these electrodes is a photoactive electrode, which, when placed on a photovoltaic cell, absorbs the sun's energy and converts it into the voltage required to split the water. We want to use these photoactive electrodes to turn solar fields into hydrogen production plants. But there's a problem. Solar fields are huge. Just think about all the piping and sealing required to cover these vast areas only to separate and collect the hydrogen. This is not only very complicated and costly, but a potentially dangerous challenge. In my research, I overcome this problem by producing the oxygen at one location and the hydrogen in a completely different location. Now, if we were to simply take the two electrodes, place them in two different cups of water instead of one, connect them, and try to split the water, nothing would happen, because there's only one electrical connection between the cups and nothing to close the electric circuit. What I did is use two additional electrodes, one in each cup, connected to each other by a metal wire. These electrodes mediate the ionic and electronic connections between the two cups without producing any side products. By using this method, we can produce only the oxygen at the solar site, which means this can remain an open site, with no ceiling and no hydrogen collection, simply releasing the oxygen into the atmosphere. Meanwhile, we can produce the hydrogen anywhere we want, for example, directly at a hydrogen refueling station. This way, I hope, we can bring this world one step closer to relying on 100% clean energy. Thank you.